be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with damage. And today, what we're gonna be doing is actually continuing this how to make hip hop beats in Logic Pro 10.8. Um, I'm not gonna call it a series, but basically this is part two. We're gonna basically keep continue making this beat. Um, I have all the elements pretty much, a lot of them, pretty much about like 90% of the elements. Basically we took this sample, we flipped it, we have uh, these different elements of the sample. So it was a dragged out, uh, dragged out sample, time matched it and everything like that, and then chopped it up. Got that one. Then we got this. And then we got this. All right, so we pretty much got these different pieces. I'm just gonna go ahead and rename this uh, just to make it simple. Sample one. This little stuff right here is low key gonna save a whole lot of time in the uh, future. Then I got my drum beat here, so I'm gonna make sure I have what you know what everything is. That's the kick. This is our like snare. One. This is snare. Two. It's a hat. One. Hat two. All right, bet. So now that I pretty much have an idea of what everything is, it's time to start piecing the puzzles together to make this into a song. I um, definitely want to start it off just with the sample. So I'm just going to push Control M, and that's going to mute out everything except for that's highlighted. And I'm just going to start building out this uh, this beat. So I'm gonna push uh, Command R. That's gonna make some copies here, and then as I go, I can just kind of un unmute stuff. Now, one thing I would say to do, especially like if you're working with audio, is um, Come through here, highlight everything, like zoom in just a little bit. You can push T, it's gonna pull your tools up, scroll down the fade tool, and then just come and put a basic little slight fade at the beginning and the end of the audio sample. Because if you don't, a lot of times you might have like a little pop. You know what I mean? So now when I go to, you know, do this, it's going to pretty much work out better. The sound sample's going to, you know, loop the better way. Let's see here. Anyway, let's get it. I'm just going to go hide and highlight that. Control M. So at this point, I'm kind of just freestyling it. Um, just using the control M, just to mute it out. Of course, you can just delete this if you want, but this kind of gives us the freedom to kind of play around and 
bring different parts in. Now at this point, it's probably a good idea to just kind of imagine actually, unless you rap, it's, it's easy to go ahead and format this, but you know, kind of imagine a rapper coming in, what they would want to say and everything like that as you're listening. So I'm just gonna go play a pitch play, we'll do that. honest with y'all like it's dope to bring the drums in quick but if this was like a song like so for instance say if i was in the studio with an artist i'm like yeah boom, boom, boom i would let that mug breathe right here and maybe do something funky for the verse right here so that's kind of like what, what i'm thinking to do Actually, I think it's probably should have started off right. This this is probably a better loop right here for like a like a um, you know a verse. Let's check that out. So basically right here, just trying to switch it up a little bit with the hook. So this is going to pretty much just be the hook, but we're going to make it a long intro. And then I have the verse coming in here, which the verse really could be cut a little shorter than this. I really could cut this out and that and make it shorter if I wanted to. But I think I'm going to let it breathe because like with hip hop artists, man, it's more about to me. Like when I'm talking about real hip hop, it's about the message rather than just the vibe all the time, you know. Say with some music, it's more vibe approach. With hip hop, it's more breathing. We're making everything uh, dope here. So I'm I'm actually gonna go ahead and just keep it like this. 
and um, end it off like such. I probably will just go ahead and keep the drums off of this too for the um, ending and just end it out here. Now there are some other things I am going to do to the beat uh, just to make this a little bit easier for me to see or y'all to see. I'm going to color code like these hook parts and honestly I'm kind of just breaking the code a little bit on this and it's going kind of more so with the feel of how I think that a, a dope hip hop song would do, go. Um, Y'all, there really is no rule. There are really no rules to music as long as it sounds good at the end of the day. But I got these different parts, so there's some things I'm going to have to do. I'm going to drop out like hi-hats and stuff like that and maybe drop out drums during certain parts, during the, the verses and stuff like that, just to create more room here. And then again, these are just be the hooks. And this is kind of, I named it Ghetto Gospel, but is this... Uh, it's kind of a beat that I would hear, like maybe a Sauce Walker on or a, G a Kendrick Lamar, uh, you know, even a, a um, you know, a J. Cole, uh, Big Sean, those type of people. Um, so that's the vibe of what I'm going for with this one. Now, if we want to get fancy and, you know, everything like that, since this is Logic Pro 10.8, what we can do is come over here to our audio effects and go to multi effects down here to go to the beat breaker and we can try to get you know we can get fancy with this so check this out So that's a little exaggerated, it's a little crazy, but you know, coming in here and throwing that beat breaker plug in on here and messing with the different metrics and everything like that would definitely help you with your you know hip hop beat. So like say someone else takes this same sample and wants to flip it, right? Cool. It's not gonna sound how you know how I made it beat. You know, how I made it sound just because of you know using these different plugins. And I could also come over here and throw the halftime under it and throw the mix up like this. But that's just something we could do. I probably would do it maybe like honestly 
maybe towards the end or something like that. I'm going to leave it actually like empty. And then this is just something we could throw in like on this last part here. And if say we wanted to do that, all we could do is we can actually automate this. So I can come over here and then say, all right, I want this to go crazy right here. I can just come on this track and then just come over here where it says read, go to touch. And then once I'm like, say once we get to this part, all we can do is just turn this on and it's going to go crazy right here. I can also come over here and if I really want to get jazzy, can put this on this sample too so that it would also do it on that other sample too when I turn it on as well. So we we'll can go touch on both of these and you'll just see what I'm talking about. So we got to basically, this is a, um, this is like a verse. Obviously we're gonna have to still come in here and mess around a little bit with the um, hi-hats and you know, patterns and stuff, but you get the picture. that but it's cool pretty much since I got the uh, data in there I can just come over here like this um, I just press a and I can just literally come over here to these plugins and just go ahead and make them turn on um, this is crazy I just did this a backwards way my bad y'all <laughs> but we're gonna just go ahead and fix this man um, as you can see here, you can just turn this on whenever you want it like this. Let's see here. You can go the same thing with these, this one. And this one. So this, I'm just basically showing y'all little cool stuff that y'all could throw in your beats or whatever. I don't want to extend this uh, too long. So this is going to be a final run through of the beat. I'm just going to let you see all the way through. I did like mute out certain parts. I put some fades and certain things like that in there. Um, but this is the final product for the most part.
right, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching. That's the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you um, you know need more further tips, tricks, training, secrets, whatever, how to make beats in Logic Pro 10, how to you know elevate your sound and stuff like that, check out my website, beatmakingbasics.com. Link is in the description. Appreciate y'all again. I'll see you in the next one.